Hey, you guys. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing good today. Welcome to the Lovely Tea News Network, honey. I know I'm kind of late with dropping some news tea, but I'm here to drop y'all some news tea today, okay? So I was trying to wait to talk about this topic. I know I was getting hit up left and right, left and right, left and right to talk about all this mess that went on at Hazard High School in Kentucky. If you guys don't know, last week, pictures went viral. People were posting them on Discord, Instagram, Twitter. It's a high school and you have all these male students. They're dressed in scantily clad lingerie. They're giving teachers lap dances. They're twerking on each other. You got teachers paddling each other. You got girls dressed like Hooters waitresses with what looks to be cups of beer. So this caused a lot of outrage. Now, child, I know I graduated many moons ago, okay? <laughs> Shout out to everybody from my class, bitch. Um, but I don't remember our student pep rallies being like this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're not that far removed from high school. I don't remember being this cool with my principal where I could just twerk on my principal or even be made to feel this comfortable to get down like this in front of my teachers. So what the hell is really going on at Hazard High School? I want to go ahead and play y'all this news clip. Um, they're interviewing one of the parents. And one of the parents, the way she's responding, she act like she wants to be a part of the situation. She has a lot of excuses for these teachers. And she's saying it's no big deal. The school put out a statement talking about this was a one-time situation. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest the commentary. An investigation is underway at Hazard High School in Perry County after images taken during a homecoming event were posted online. Now they include pictures of students in lingerie and bikinis dancing on teachers. The school is receiving backlash on social media from parents who are calling the incident inappropriate and disturbing. LEX 18 Sophia Millar hears from them and one parent who says the photos don't tell the whole story. Now we do want to warn you some of you may find some of these images disturbing. Details now on the LEX 18 Big Story at 6. The pictures were originally posted on the Hazard High School Athletics Facebook page, but have since been removed. We have blurred the faces of students to protect their privacy. We are told it was part of homecoming week celebrations. Tuesday was costume day and there was a man pageant in the gym. These are some of the images receiving the most criticism. They appear to show scantily clad students giving lap dances to faculty and staff. Others showed female students dressed in Hooters costumes, carrying mugs that looked like there was beer in them. And in others, students and staff appear to spank or paddle each other. It was just really shocking whenever I first saw it, and um, I, I almost couldn't wrap my head around it. Hazard mom Jenna Smith has a family member at the high school and kids in the district. She says the event should have been shut down the moment an adult realized students were undressing. I think that they should have at that point said, hey, I know this is a joke, but let's stop. This is inappropriate. Mom Holly Lane disagrees. It has been taken completely out of context. There are only photos being shown on the Internet, no videos. So the photos don't show the teachers pushing the children off of them. Lane's sons and his friends participated in the homecoming event. She says pushing the limits and embarrassing teachers is part of the fun. If everybody is perfect, then I would say, yeah, maybe we need to rethink something. But until somebody can prove that something is going on here, other than just homecoming week and teenagers being teenagers, then I'll, I'll support my kids. The way that I think about it is I think that, yes, the kids should just be kids and they should be allowed to have fun, but is giving a lap dance or witnessing um, somebody else give an adult a lap dance, is that a child appropriate activity? And to me, it is not. Lane says she doesn't believe a line was crossed. Um, none of my children have been hurt. None of the teachers have been hurt. Hazard Independent School Superintendent Sandra Combs says the district is looking into the incident. The district is investigating the incident and after the investigation is complete, appropriate action will be taken. One of the administrators in the pictures is Hazard High School Principal Donald Happy Mobellini. He's also the mayor of Hazard. We reached out to Principal Mobellini this morning and have not received a response. The superintendent says no further information will be released until the investigation 
investigation is complete. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, the entire situation is really disturbing. So now what's so interesting is because a lot of parents were complaining this was a viral story, they hit up the superintendent and the superintendent, Sandra Combs, came out and stated this was an isolated incident. This doesn't happen. It was a part of the homecoming festivities. It was caught the man pageant and it just went too far. Miss Sandra Combs, you should have just sat there and ate your damn food. Okay. Because you claim this was a one-time incident in 2021, but the lie detector test has determined that is a motherfucking lie. Okay. Because other people then went back into their archives, honey, and pulled out receipts and said, uh-uh. Uh-uh, Miss Combs, this been going down. Here goes a video from 2020 of a young boy dressed in drag, acting like he's Madonna on the Like a Virgin tour, rolling around the gym in a white dress and a wig, going up to the principal, dancing on him all freaky and shit, rubbing his bald head, kissing on the principal. No, ma'am, this was not a one-time incident. And if that wasn't bad enough, they found video from 2017. Yes, you know the internet keeps receipts, honey. They found videos from 2017. And basically in this video, you have this young boy dressed in a bra and some shorts, honey, looking like a big old linebacker over here giving his fellow students lap dances and you see teachers clapping and hooping and hollering and everybody's just having a good old funky time like this is normal. <laughs> I'm not feeling this. And obviously the governor is not as well because now that more video has come out showing that this was not a one-time incident, the governor of Kentucky, his name is Andy Bashir. He is blasting the school. He is very disappointed. And he is saying that this is totally unacceptable. I want y'all to go ahead and hear what the governor had to say. Go ahead and check this out. Totally unacceptable, inappropriate, shouldn't happen. And so uh, that means that you know, in, in, the, in, in the system, and there is a system here to address it, right? There's, there's principals, and then there's a superintendent, and then there's a Kentucky Department of Education. Um, you know, they need to take uh, appropriate action and ensure that this will never happen again. But there's another thing they need to do, and that's that they need to be talking to these students, that this isn't something that is normalized in their mind. Uh, that they think is okay in 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 school, and that doesn't mean that that the, the the kids are punished because the adults were letting it it go on, but we just want to make sure that we're raising our kids right about what is and is not acceptable, especially in the world that we live in. And I know there's a lot of focus on on the adults, and and rightfully so, but I, I want I. I hope that the school system does right by the kids as well. This can be for them. Uh, a learning moment that can be really important about choices they make, about uh, uh, peer pressure on what was going on, but uh, it can't happen, it shouldn't happen. Um, our public schools are better uh, than than this, and um, I, I do believe, though, um, that that action is being taken. Now, I will say, um, I think that what that action is ought to be public, since the issue is is so public and i say that um knowing a couple of the folks and and um you know i i, I think that they will learn from it all right so you guys just saw what the governor had to say about everything like i said this was some straight up bs I'm not buying it. It's bad enough, Kentucky. Y'all got a reputation, honey, for, you know, sleeping with cousins and siblings and incest. But we're not even going to go there. Now, I know about that reputation, but I never knew that this is how y'all get down in some of your public schools, okay? First and foremost, this is totally unacceptable. You know, it's one thing to have fun and clown during homecoming. I get that. But when we did homecoming, when we did pet rallies, we did things like dance, choreograph dances, we did things like, you know, cheer on our sports teams and, you know, just have fun and get in the school spirit and wear the school colors. We never felt this comfortable to dance on our teachers, dance on our principals. And that's the thing that's really bothering to me is why do these kids feel so comfortable to dance on their principal like this, to one, dress around him like this, but to then 
sit there and grind on him. It gave me Nambla vibes, okay? Man boy love vibes is what I got watching that video. Because you didn't really see the girls doing too much. They were dressed like Hooters chicks, but whatever. A lot of y'all were worse than that to school. But the way the boys were dressed was definitely creepy and definitely inappropriate. Now, to me, this gives me grooming vibes. All that other shit y'all been crying about, whatever. This definitely gives me grooming vibes. Like they're grooming these young boys to think that this is acceptable and this is okay behavior. And look, our teachers are so cool. Our principal is so cool to wear down their guard. So then when they catch them out of school or maybe a year after they graduated, that principal pulls up to them at the grocery store and saying, uh, what's up? I remember how you looked in that lingerie top. I remember how you looked in them little booty shorts. Huh, what's good? Okay. That's the vibe I'm getting from this whole interaction. And it's bullshit. I don't understand what's going on in our school systems. But this ain't it, chief. I'm not feeling this. The principal's wilding. This, the teachers are wilding. Like I said, I understand kids will do stupid stuff and, and get into stupid stuff. But that's what kids do. As an adult... You should know better than to allow. These are all underage kids, okay? In high school, the average kid is 18 and under. So this is just unacceptable to have kids dressed like this. And I don't care if it's boys or girls. The girls shouldn't be walking around in lingerie, and most definitely the boys shouldn't either. There shouldn't be a little there shouldn't be a young man dressed in drag, pretending to be Madonna, you know what I'm saying, acting just sexual towards the principal and the teachers. That's really disturbing. So I'm glad that the governor spoke up and called them out. And I'm glad that the good people at Twitter called out the superintendent and had to check her real quick before you try and dismiss this and sweep it under the rug as a one-time incident. We keep receipts around these parts, okay? And I'm glad they pulled out them receipts because this to me is ridiculous. They, this, there's no room for things like this. If these kids want to run around in, in lingerie and give each other lap dances from the comfort of their fucking bedroom... Or at a kid's party, that's their damn business. Because kids do stupid shit. But I don't expect to see adults and teachers condoning this and acting like this is okay. And for them to try and lie and say it was a one-time incident when it wasn't, is not cute. You know, so it's going to be very interesting to see what comes of this. Because you've had teachers who have engaged in this foolishness in the past. And they've either gotten probation, they've lost their jobs. Things have happened to them. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen to this principal, a.k.a. the mayor, a.k.a. all the other teachers who are also engaging in the fuckery. I wonder what's going to happen to them from this entire investigation. It's a waiting game at this point. But I just want to go ahead and address this situation, let y'all know how I feel about it. So now on to other news. If you guys do not know, child, it's getting real out here. I've been telling y'all, prepare, prepare, prepare. It's a dark winter coming down the pipeline. If y'all don't know, China is now urging families to stock up on food and supplies. Okay? So if China is telling their own people it's about to be a dark winter over here, and they they produce every damn thing, Like we, we get the rest of the world being scared like, dang, everything's made in China. These folks actually live in China. They live where the stuff is being made, and even they're telling their people to stock up and prepare because um, it's about to be a dark winter for us, and we're the ones who manufacture everything. So if they're sending out warning shots, that is very scary. People in America, in Canada, in Europe, in Africa, everybody else on every other continent should be very, very concerned when the chief producer, okay, of the world is telling their peoples to stock up because things are getting low. I want y'all to go ahead and listen to this TikTok video. This girl is basically saying a lot of the same things I've said over the past few months. She's breaking it down succinctly. So y'all go ahead and listen to what she has to say about the situation. Check this out. We got to talk about China. China's Ministry of Commerce has been warning its citizens to stock up. It's a combination of a new coronavirus strain, inclement winter weather, and tensions with Taiwan. And this is going to affect us hard. The parts that run our tractors, China. The parts that run our trucks, China. The parts that run our factories, China. China's already struggling to keep production up because of rolling blackouts and the energy crisis. If they're worried, you should be worried. This is not only going to affect our supply chain worse, it's going to affect our ability to grow and deliver crops and package them and truck them. 
This is why it's important to pay attention to supply chain news in other countries, not just the US, because a lot of the stuff that we use to maintain our supply chain is actually produced overseas. So get ready. All right. So you guys just heard what she had to say. So like I said, you know, when we're dealing with the manufacturer of the world and they're wanting their people to stock up and saying that things are going to be low and it's going to be a hard winter. There's not going to be a lot of food. There's going to be a disruption to their own supply chain. That is very worrisome. That is very, very worrisome. So hopefully, you know, what I'm saying people will take heed and understand that if China is sending out dog whistles, you may want to perk your ears up. OK, so on to the next news story. Um, I want to talk about this There's a company in Sweden called Oomph, and they have revealed the first ever vegan burger that replicates the taste of human meat. That is extremely disturbing. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. At home, we turn plants into any mouth-watering meat you can imagine. This Halloween, we bring you the scariest plant-based food ever. Plant-based human meat. So be scared. But relax. All right, so you guys just watched that video. Now, the thing that first bothers me, okay, I, I'm all here. I'm here for a joke, okay? I understand jokes. I understand gags. I have a big sense of humor. But certain things to me are not funny. Certain things, when I see stuff like this, to me, it looks like conditioning. And I've been talking about this for years on my old news channel. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.